up YouTube this is a uh, 501 farm on here bringing you my latest project 1954 super MTA diesel I picked this tractor up about two or three months ago and in a couple counties over been set for about eight years got it home stuck a battery in it the motor wasn't stuck valves are not either Still learning a lot on it. Not very many. Actually, I don't know where another one is around here like it. But pick these tars up. Next county over. They actually came off of H, but almost new. As you can still see the size right there. When I drug this tractor out of the weeds, it didn't have any. Uh, well, actually, the rims fell off of it, but now the brake there brake was stuck. I had to take the brake off to move it. Now the grill, it was in fairly decent condition when you got out looked at it far away but when you got up to it you started noticing see the insert was welded in there and then it's starting to rust out right there but I've located another grill got it home I went to Georgia about a month ago and got that off of all fuel. Doing a little cleaning I noticed on the little starting tank it's got holes starting to come through it. Now I might be able to get that brazed or find another one somewhere. I don't know. I have to just when the time comes I'll figure that out. Now this little thing was underneath of it, mounted on the belly of it doing a little research I think it may have been part of a mounted plow like a disc plow or something it's got the independent PTO of course but got the lever off swinging drawbar was miss missing I don't know what happened to it but I'm thinking that they maybe pulled something in that hole a couple of times before now the TA is unknown but I'm just Kind of guessing it's out. Most of them is. Had to buy a starter switch. That one was bad. But like I said, we got it home and uh, let it sit outside for about a week until I could locate some tars to, before I could put it in the building. Stuck a battery in it and she turned over. I mean, surprised me. Still got the old style looking tread on it. I don't know, that might have been the original tar that came on it. I'm not really for sure. But I got the carb off over there, cleaned it out. I don't know if you can. Can't. Yeah, there's a the serial number right there. I've seen one higher, but I, I know they're out there. I mean, I just hadn't came across one yet. Got the airbag cleaner off. I'm sure it's going to have to have injector pump work done. Now I heard, hear that them are kind of hard to, nobody's got parts for them, but I have ran across a couple, a couple of companies that are supposed to be able to rebuild them. Send that off. But you know, it's just old tractor. It's going to take some time. I'm not sure. I don't think that is original. And after doing research, I found that I think this little added piece is actually the way they came. I didn't think they was, but like I say, there's there's no, uh, the only closest one I know of would be a 53 Super M. And it's a pretty good ways away, but I think that's it. Thanks for watching.